Well guys, guess what? They found a new moon in our solar system and it's around a dwarf planet they call Make Make. Dude, this planet is called Make Make? Really, like, who are you? Not able to make make up a new name for a planet? Man, scientists really need to think a little better about this. All right, hey guys, Dave Wapple here and we are talking about the cosmos, space, and all that jazz. I'm not gonna lie guys, I really wish I was like Captain Kirk on my own ship just going through the galaxy doing cool stuff. So it's a dwarf planet that's in the Jupiter belt. Now, for those that don't know what the Jupiter belt is, it's pretty much the end of our solar system. Like, you go past that thing, guess what? You win interstellar space, son. So the moon was discovered by the Southwest Research Institute alongside with the assistance of Hubble's wide field camera number three. Now, currently the moon is thought to be less than 100 miles wide. Now, scientists didn't discover this before when they first found Make Make back in 2005. Seriously, I can't say Make Make. Guys, can we rename this planet. Uh, it's ridiculous. Now the reason they couldn't see it back in 2005 is because, well, Make Make has a, a methane, I feel it should be a methane, methane um, atmosphere. Gosh, this is not easy to do. Now currently Make Make is the biggest object um, of four objects that's in the Jupiter belt. But scientists are really excited to hear about this. I know it's so far away, it's a dwarf planet, but it's making scientists go, man, there's other stuff out there. But because there's a moon there, they can now actually calculate Make Make's mass and density. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm uh, just gonna get out of here because that's, I just make, make a new video for you guys. It was fun, wasn't it? Anyways, guys, hit the subscribe button. Also, check out other videos. I'm Dave Wapple. And until next time, keep it real, keep it classic, keep it on the flip side out there in the cosmic universe. Bye!